Uh, then Friday uh, afternoon, we uh, we flew here into Chicago. Uh, when we got here, I took a shower, changed, and immediately left the hotel to go to uh, to the Missy Elliott. Missy Elliott, shout out to Missy Elliott. She had a, a final stop on her tour, was here in Chicago at the Allstate Arena. So uh, a friend of mine had told me two days before, mm. and I've never seen Missy. So I was just like, you know, usually I, I don't go to shows. I get in the city. I'd rather just get something to eat, chill in the hotel, go to sleep. But I said, you know what? Let me get out in Chicago a little bit. So that was the perfect start to our uh, weekend here in Chicago. Went to the Missy Elliott show. And I'm telling you right now, Rory, I'm stamping it. Missy Elliott is easily the greatest entertainer that we probably have in our culture. Well, she created our, our first accounting issue that you and I have ever had. And it wasn't because of money. Mm -hmm. I just got a notification that Missy Elliott tickets were bought. Yeah. And I was like, I like Missy Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you texted me. You was like, oh, should I reply yes? I was yeah. like, yes. I'm sitting yeah. there like, nah, it's, it's cool. Yeah. Accounting's fine here. Yeah, yeah. But like, you know, I, you know I fuck with Missy, right? <laughs> <laughs> but just, happy birthday to mom. Your mom yeah, it was, was my mother's town. birthday. Your mom, your family flew in. Uh, mom's birthday was Friday, I believe, right? Yeah, it was so, the day so, we landed. And I was thinking like... So I knew you had family time. It, it was family. You were on family time. But how fucked up I am, I started thinking like, I mean, my mom has had other birthdays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. she'll be all right. And I can she's, here to, she's here all weekend with <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, I can it's just fine. go see Missy. Yeah. But no, we did, we did the dinner thing, and I have family out here, so it was cool. But how was the show? Bro, I'm telling you right now, man. I cannot... We obviously are familiar with Missy's game. Mm. We know what she's capable of. One of the greatest artists, producers, creatives, visionaries. Whatever. I mean, she's set the bar for what music videos in the early 2000s would look like she she's just an a complete yeah. complete artist in every sense of the word i've never seen her live so this is why i i i meant, wanted to make it a point to go to the show because i'm like i never seen missy live she doesn't tour often either so this was her first tour in 21 years yeah it's crazy so i was like you know what let me catch this show buster rhymes was on the bill mm -hmm. sierra was on the bill timbaland was on the bill okay so i said Oh, no, I got to see this show. They all have real great hits together. Yeah. They've all worked together. Get to the show. Uh, got there. Sierra was just wrapping up. Looked great. Buster comes on. We don't even have to talk about what Buster mm. does. Was Russell in the crowd? He probably was somewhere in the vicinity. I mean, I wouldn't know. Maybe backstage. I don't mm. know. Um, did, did the house music, did they play any future? Like in between sets? They didn't really play no music between sets. Okay. And if they did, it was real low. It wasn't like a DJ was on stage. It wasn't mm. that type of. They was had because they had to. They were moving around production so much. So yeah. it was like people on stage, and um. So when Buster came out, you know, Buster's doing his real hip hop. Him and uh Spliff and Scratch a Tour doing what they do, and Buster before he finished his set, he was like, "I want y'all to understand what y'all are about to see when Missy hits this stage. Mm. Like her production, it's." You haven't seen anything like this. Like, yeah. just wait until. And this is Buster. Buster puts on one of the greatest shows in hip hop. So I'm like, okay, but we all know that because we know Missy's a visionary. She's an artist. We we know we to expect something grand. Mm. And <clears throat> when she came out, bro, I'm telling you, from the time she hit the stage to the time she was done, it was like she created this world, and we were just all privileged to get a peek into it. The, from the costumes, the choreography, all of her dances are from, here from Chicago. She incorporated okay. a lot of the Chicago house yeah. music samples into some of her her, her hits. Mm. So it was like just that vibe and just the the set, the colors, the the pyro. I mean, Missy looked great. Just everything, the attention to detail. Everybody was in the right spots, hitting their marks. It was it just felt like a well a well oiled machine. Mm. And sitting there. I'm thinking, if Missy is able to do this in the All-State Arena, imagine what she can do on a Super Bowl halftime stage. And we were talking about this in the green room, and maybe I said a blasphemous question, but do you think she's big enough? I know she's doing arena tours right now, and she's Missy Elliott, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But in the Super Bowl debate that we typically have with halftime, is she big enough? Is she a household name enough for middle America? I... I believe so. She's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay. You can't. You got to be huge to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's nobody. You don't just get into that. Yeah, but I feel like so is like Matchbox Twenty. Yeah, but it's different. It's different because mm -hmm. of her music, the hits. Like Missy has had, I believe she's had Pepsi commercials. 
Yeah, I think so. I just think when you're on that level, mm. and then again, it's 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 taking a nostalgic trip down. Oh shit! I, I remember this record. Yeah, remember that record. Like God, I forgot she did this record. Mm. She was performing songs that I forgot she had. Yeah, and I'm just sitting there like she literally just took us through 17, 18 years of of hit records. I think she. I feel like she'd have to be paired with somebody. Not that Bruno Mars or Beyonce be. needed to be paired together, but she can be paired with everybody she was just on the stage with. Because when they ended the show, Busta came out, did the record he has with Missy. Yo, Busta and came Spliff out at the Super Bowl would be hilarious. Why not? No, I'm with it. I think it'd be great. I just don't know if if it checks out with the NFL if they're allowing that. But why wouldn't it though? I don't know. Fifty Cent was at the Super Bowl halftime show. Upside down. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> what do we? Once Fifty hit the Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah. What are we talking about here? But look what it took with Dre. Dre had to bring out Snoop, Mary, Kendrick, Eminem, and 50. That's okay. insane. Missy. I feel like all five of them could maybe just do the Super Bowl halftime by themselves, and, let alone... And I believe Missy Elliott is one of those. Because like you said, I'd like to see she it. can get in the medley of the songs that yeah. she's produced and written for other yeah. artists and have them... Like, if she had Sierra come out. Yeah. Be great. She's, she's in the NFL, mm. right? <laughs> Did they come back out to do the records that they all have together? I, I, that's how they ended the show. Gotcha. Buster well, came out. Yeah. Sierra came out. Of course, Timbaland came out. They mm. gave a tribute to Magoo and um, damn, I'm I'm, I'm I'm missing his name. Uh, the produced Static. Okay. Um. So yeah, it was just it was just a beautiful. Be I got a bunch of footage. I could send Peach. It was just a beautiful show. Missy looked great. She sounded great. I mean, it was definitely one of the only person I haven't seen live that I think may have an equally or a better show than Missy that I've seen is probably Usher. Okay. As great as Chris Brown is, I don't I don't even think Chris's show is as good yeah. as Missy's show. I mean, Missy and Buster too would probably be like one A, one B as far as music videos yeah. in my childhood. Yeah. So the visuals they would do together. And that's, what, and that's what I'm thinking. Is and Sierra has a show. whole visual look, too. So they're all visual artists. This is why I'm thinking about, mm -hmm. because, you know, for the halftime show, there's no, you can get whatever you want. Yeah. As far as production set, mm -hmm. they'll try anything. For sure. So I'm just looking at that and looking at her show Friday night. I'm thinking about if she had that stage and that level of production available, like the halftime show, it's the biggest mm -hmm. show. The things that Missy would do with that... I. We just have to see it. I think that we absolutely need it. We don't talk about Missy enough when we start talking about the legends. Obviously, we know what she's done, but we don't talk about Missy enough. And what I, I saw Friday I night, that we should not be talking about some of these other people as much as we do if we don't talk about Missy. I feel like you made some noise when she said make some noise. No, I was recording. I had my phone in my hand. Like, oh, can we, can we hear your background? Well, no, of I, you was, I wasn't yelling, but I was definitely <laughs> like, if you would have saw me, you would have been like, what are you doing? Put your phone down. Like, I literally, because mm. it was something that I knew that, one, I haven't seen anything like this. I've been to the Glow in the Dark show. Great show. Yeah. I don't think it was as good as Missy's show. I've been to countless other shows that were do Bad Bunny show. Which was great. Great. Kind of the same thing. Creates mm. his own world. Invite you into it. Yeah. I still don't think Bad you, Bunny show was as great as Missy's show. Did you go to Yeezus? Uh, no. That was the greatest show I've ever seen. But I, I could imagine Missy would top that. It, I see. Is Jesus the one where he had the floating stage? No, that was the Pablo tour. Oh, was it the one that was like he was on a cliff? He had like a pyramid in yeah. the middle of the shit. Yeah. And Tribe Called Quest, before Fife died, opened. Okay. It was, yeah. It was the, <clears throat> Real hip hop. I went to the Garden and in Newark. That's how good that shit was. Yeah, no, Missy, uh, if you caught the show, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, you know, it's I don't know if or when Missy will ever go out. She, she hasn't been on the road in over 20 years. Um, and that was something that Buster spoke to because Buster had a show scheduled this year as well. But he said once he heard that Missy was going out, he said, "Yo, I waited twenty years to go on, on the road with her, and I wasn't going to miss the opportunity." I mean, time. Buster Rhymes does. If there's a stage available, oh, Buster yeah. will be there. He's performing. <laughs> He's definitely performing. But Buster, I mean, just his—it's crazy to see how consistently great of a performer Buster has been throughout yeah. the years. Like Buster has not tapered off at all, and yeah. Buster is probably. He's probably 50 years old now. Yeah. Looks great. Sounds great. Well, he, he went from steroid bus to Ozempic bus. Did he add some more weight on her? No, he looks good. Okay. He still, he still looks good. Um, he lost me with that video that he posted when he was just standing on the beach fully dressed. <laughs> I didn't know what Buster was trying to take us with that, <laughs> with that video. Some Jodeci shit. Yeah, but I, I just don't know what Buster was doing that day. Mm. But, you know, still as far as just an artist and a performer, Buster and Spliff and, and Scratch a Tour 
what they're able to do still, uh, you know, Buster's been in the game over 30 years. Mm. Still, you know, they can outperform plenty of these hip-hop artists today. 